Righto, uh, this is something we've been thinking about for a fair while now, um, about changing our fridge out to a different style or type. Uh, been running a 40 litre angle fridge uh, for, well, I've had this fridge for about 15 years and uh, it just doesn't stop. It's, it's a great fridge, works beautifully, keeps things nice and cold. It runs 24 seven, 306 days, and five days of the year. Um, but the problem I'm finding with it is it's quite not not quite big enough a 40 litre for if you're going away for a week to put all your few drinks and um, food and that in. And as you probably know, with it, this type of fruit fridge, when you say get a carton of milk out, everything falls in that hole, and you've got to butterize around a bit to uh, get it all everything packed pack back in it. And I've got the canopy off the back of the unit at the moment, but when it is on the back of the unit, this part of the fridge is up about this high, so it's, I have got a slide on it. To get it down a little bit, uh, but it's still quite high, though, especially for the missus, she's not as tall and she's sort of looking over the side trying to get into it. Anyway, uh, I could go for a, one of the MSA drop downs, but I find they're a bit hard to justify $800 odd for, for something like that. You know, so what I'm doing, I'm going to replace this with, which I picked up yesterday, the uh, new Dometic 110 litre uh, upright fridge, so the CRX. Uh, I mean, some great reviews on them with the power, um, drawers and stuff like that. So uh, let's open it up and have a look what we get. So, so 110 litres is obviously two and a half times the size of a little 40 litre. So uh, we'll get this open. Okay, obviously get the fridge. Um, good plastic. Uh, your motor and everything's up here, your compressor. Uh, can't open it up yet. Can't open up this jet until I get it all, all properly unpacked. But anyway, I'll get to work on this now and uh, pull the old fridge out, take the old slide out because I don't need that, and we'll get this one mounted up and then. Uh, and see how everything operates and do a review on on uh, how well it works. Well then, I'll get started on this then. Okay. I've got the, uh, the old fridge out and the slide. Um, this is where the new one's going to go. Uh, that's it, just at the back there, sitting on, ready to drop drop straight into this slot. What I'm going to do first is this section through here. I'm going to put a, a um, some aluminium sheeting to enclose this area behind the behind the fridge, so that way it protects it at the back, makes it a little bit neater and uh, that's how I'll secure it, secure it into the uh, back of the unit here. So um, just went down to the uh, salvage joint and got some aluminium sheetings and some mangle and stuff, so uh, we'll get started on that part of it and then um, we can mount the fridge in there permanently. Okay. Right, uh, we've got, uh, I've had the fridge in for a couple of weeks now, uh, see how things are going to perform with it. Uh, so far pretty happy with it. Uh, you can see, if you're looking here a bit, a bit closer, how I've mounted it all up to, um, so it all fits in nice and neat where the old angle used to go. Uh, got the, just got some stuff from the salvage yard, I think I said, mentioned earlier in the vid, from, uh, to make it all a bit of an enclosure here for it to go in. Made a little bit of a storage area up top. To, uh, just a couple of bits and pieces, I think, and just light stuff, little basket, whatever. So a little bit of a mesh at the back to stop anything dropping over onto the motor area. Okay this is the view from the back, um, all enclosed in there now so that way it's a, the fridge is uh, protected from anything that could be floating around the back of the ute and damaging it. Um, also put these nice big holes in there to allow plenty of airflow around the uh, compressor and the motor so that should hopefully make it run uh, nice and efficiently. So okay so that's the view from the back. So um, yeah so far pretty good, pretty happy with it, uh, should be running pretty pretty good, that's the insides of it. Um, Accessibility is great, it's just a lot easier than the old uh, angle or Waco's arc as far as getting things in and out. You can stack it, you've got a couple of vegetable crispers down the bottom here. I've only got a few things in at the moment because I'm not sort of geared up to go too far today. Um, you've got a little, a little holder down here to stop things sliding in. This just slides along so you can get that to wherever. 
stop stuff sliding around while you're traveling. Um, obviously you can put you know, tall stuff, plenty of room for cartons of milk and things like that, nice and tall. Um, I did buy these couple of little baskets just from the $2 shop. I just find a lot of people have said about these type of fridges, about things flopping around and falling out, so just make just put them in there and that, that alleviates that problem. Um, freezer's working great, a little freezer up there, I've just got some ice trays in there obviously. That, within 15 minutes that was starting to freeze everything up in there when I turned it on, so that's just solid. Um, it's not drawing too much on the battery so far, it's probably about 3 amps, but it seems to run pretty efficiently it's where it cuts in and out where it doesn't overwork the batteries, but we are down south at the moment, where it's a lot cooler at the moment, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how it goes when we get further up north and uh, the humidity and the temperature is a lot, a lot warmer, so hopefully it'll, it all goes well. The only other thing I would have liked to send this, this little shelf up here, I probably would have liked that down a little bit lower and just the size a little bit higher, just so you can put little jars of you know, your jams, veggie, what, what, I don't know, whatever, just up there, because it's not, it's not, not a very deep um, shelf up there, uh, like a little egg thing, or I suppose you can put eggs or whatever you want up there to um, stop that flopping around. Uh, there is a little little latch up here, if you've got your fridge turned off for a while, if you've not been using it, you can flip that over, close your door and lock on that, and it'll just leave your fridge open about this much, to obviously stop it from uh, smelling um, aerate when you're parked up at home or something for a while if you're not using it. Um, I've got a thermometer, I just made a little thermometer in the side here, just keep an eye on the temperature, that's just at about, I don't know, 3 degrees at the moment, so probably where you want your fridge, um, so it seems to be running really well. Uh, I would have liked the door to open the other way from this way, but it hits me, me, uh, me, me strut here on the canopy. Um, I could have moved the fridge over a bit further, but to do that I would have had to shift all my drawers, my shelving, over a bit for it to fit in. So I, I just left it this side. It's interchangeable, no big deal changes. You just pop these little hinges over and you can have it opening either side. So that works really well. Uh, obviously, you see me when I open it, the fridge is locked. I can't come open when you're traveling. Uh, you've got to actually lift a little handle up here for it to unlock. All right, we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on it, see how it goes, and we can do some later reviews on it later once we do head up north and we can start traveling around again once this virus lockdown thing's all over. And um, you can drop another few comments on that or put it into another little review in six months' time or something and just see how it's performing, performing then. So um, we'll see how it all, all goes. All right, um, that's about all I can tell you at the moment. So happy travels.